Hey there, my fellow YouTubers. It's Cassandra72, and I'm coming to you again with the couponing haul. This one is from Kroger. Um, and so, yeah, I went in to basically what I do. I went in after watching T-Rust 843's video. You can check her out. Um, but there were the canisters of Kool-Aid. She said that um, after watching, I guess, one of her subscribers' videos, they said they were 10 for 10 and then they were producing once you bought if you bought two you got a dollar catalina if you bought three you got a two dollar catalina and if you bought four you got a three dollar catalina and um and they were on sale 10 for 10. however in my store they were not but that's what i wanted to do um and so once i was there i actually attempted to pick up it was a loaf of bread and then loaf of bread and these um donuts here that are on manager special for $1.99 that's upside down but they're normally $3.99 and so then I had a $2 Catalina that I was going to use and I was thinking that that was actually from Kroger but as it turns out with some food line and they wouldn't accept it so I just said they can just avoid the thing um because at that point it really was a moot issue to me um because once I was there inside just shopping around I spotted these pantines um, that were on clearance for two dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, so um, yeah, so shampoos um, and conditioners on clearance for two forty nine. Well, they would normally have been five dollars according to according to the sticker. Yeah, normally five dollars, so that's about half off. So yeah, you can't really beat that deal. So yeah, they're all on clearance for $2.49 and so um, I knew that there were uh, the buy one get one free coupons and um, I don't know I know that those are taken off the entire value at CVS um, but I just I just decided not to go the CVS route today um, I was at Kroger and I just felt like I do it here and um, just in case they wanted to adjust the coupon down um, because if you may or may not know, those coupons, they're buy one, get one free up to a max value of $6.99. Well, generally, if you go to the CVS, they're scanning for the $6.99. But I'm hearing that there actually now, uh, there's a, been an email that went out and the people are adjusting it down. So I guess it just depends upon where you go. Your mileage may vary. But, you know, instead of going in there with no real game plan, um, because I didn't have my 20, I haven't scanned the 25% off that I, that I have in my emails, which I need to do that tonight because they expire tomorrow and I'll end up getting caught up and not do it. So yeah, rather than, um, you know, going there thinking that I'm going to take off, it's going to take off the whole thing and they only take off 350 and then there are some dollar off two coupons as well out of the P and G that we got from last month. You know, but, you know, not to go in there thinking I'm not going to pay anything and then having to come out of pocket with something and not really have that game plan down. No, I don't. I didn't think I want to deal with that. So I saw these here. I thought it was a better route to go. And so um, I wasn't even I had got some coupons from my girlfriend today. I only had five five of those smart sources that these were in. Um, and then I knew that there was another coupon, but I was thinking it was a dollar three dollars off two. Um, but that's actually for the herbal essences. Um, so there was a dollar or two for the Pantene. But even, either way, it was it was still going to be, you know, a good deal. So I went ahead and decided to do that. Um, yeah, so that didn't go off without a hitch as far as the taking the Catalina. And I'm like, I didn't, I don't see anything in their policy that states that they don't. But like I said, I just said, don't even worry about it. I said, just, you can just board the thing. And as I was walking out the door, I told my daughter, I said, I don't understand. I said, this lady, she, because uh, this, I was at self-checkout and that person always seems to have issues with people who have coupons. Like there's always an issue whenever I'm trying to use it. So I was like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I mean, because it's a manufacturer's coupon. So I understand that it says redeemable at, at Foodline, but it does not say redeemable only at Foodline. It's a Catalina on the craft deal that would have printed out whichever store you went to that week. So you mean to tell me they're not interchangeable, but you know, whatever. Um, so I wasn't happy about it, but I walked outside and I was trying to, you know, see how many of these coupons I had. So I was still there and actually someone came out and actually tried to talk to me. 
and I was like, he said, are you the lady with the coupon? And I looked at him, I said, and what are you out here for? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I could be the nicest person, but when I'm in a mood, just don't test me. Talking about some, then he said, well, she sent me out here to see, I said, I don't need any help. He said, okay, and just walked away. <laughs> so anyway, um, because I knew I was getting ready to go back in. I, it was a mood point. If you, if I can't use it, I can't use it. You know, if that's, that's what you're telling me. But like I said, you don't even try to hear, you know, when you don't even try to hear a customer out, that pisses me off and puts me in a mood. And then I don't want to have, I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. So anyway, I came on home and got myself together, um, found where, found out where the Pantene coupons were, um, clipped those and went on back to the store. So, um, and I probably, I might've rethought this thing, um, had I really paid attention. I just saw Pantene and went crazy <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I'm going to get a whole bunch of shampoos and conditioners, um, because I do like to match these things up, but as you'll see, um, the only shampoo and conditioner that I really have is this first set. Um, this says normal thick and it for hair solutions and that's in the smooth, um, formulation and that's only shampoo. And then I have this normal thick It's moisture renewal and that's only conditioner. Okay. And then the rest of my conditioners are all the same. They're all volume hair solutions. I have three of those and those are all conditioners. All right, so the only the only issue is that these are also um, these are fine for volume, but these are two in one shampoo and conditioner. So um, you know, yeah, I actually bought these to try to end up putting in my um, my inventory at the flea market, and so um, I generally try to have those matched up. I don't know if anybody is really going to want to buy shampoo and conditioner and then conditioner on top of that. I don't know, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, so getting down to brass tags so then i'm using my coupons I'm, i've checked out i'm sorry <clears throat> i've also picked up these ice honey buns um they were a dollar and as i stated I already um as i already stated i had these glazed donuts at 199 i actually picked up the ice honey buns <laughs> because when i went back and i did initially didn't see these these were right up front when i like first went in the store and then when i decided i was going to get them and i went back they had moved them um, and when I went back the second time, I couldn't see them. So I picked up the ice honey buns, but then I found them and I just decided to keep both. I picked up a can of the dry. I believe these were 10 for 10. And then just a loaf of bread that was, um, 88 cents for, um, the Kroger, the Kroger version of that. It's on sale for 88 cents. And so the issues that I had with this transaction were that, um, all my dollar off coupon scan fine, but then when they went to do the ones for the two forty nine, well, the buy one get one, they were gonna have to ring those in um, because you know they had to manually enter those at the Kroger. They just want to scan right through, um, and so then she got the two forty nine. Well, she went to ask about how to do this. Um, the cashier that I have, really nice, went to ask about how to do it. Looked at and apparently the manager at the customer service told her that I could only use one coupon um, because it says one coupon per purchase. And then, but then it goes on to say four like coupons. So they don't understand. So, but still, if you wanted to bring me up separately, that was totally fine. And so, you know, in all actuality, once I used that two, $2.49 came off, I really probably shouldn't have been able to take the $1 off as well. Or if they did the buy one, get one, you know, since they took the $1 off the two, they probably should have really only done it for $149. But, um, yeah, God is on my side and I always seem to get it together. So, um, when she scanned the $249 one and then she told me my total was $20, I said, no, you have to take the other ones off. Um, but then once she had rang that in, then she couldn't take the, they couldn't void the, um, they could not avoid the other six off that I had bought. So we just had to start all over. And so I actually end up having four transactions here. The first three are exactly the same. All right, which is my Pantene shampoos and conditioners. Took off the $249, the $1, 35 tax. I paid $184. And as I said, I have one, oops, two, and three of those okay for the 184 all right then my last transaction 
is where I did the shampoo and conditioner and everything else. So, it actually was two conditioners that she rang up together. Okay, so, um, $2.49 each. The bread at $0.88. Cents, the honey buns at $1 each. The bakery donuts at $1.99. Ginger ale at $1. Okay, and then took off the $2.49 coupon. And she had to over she had to do an override each time for the dollar one. So, a dollar tax was $0.52. Cents, I paid $7.88. So all total, I paid thirteen dollars and forty cents for twenty-seven dollars and eight cents worth of eighty-six cents worth of product. Thirteen dollars and forty cents for twenty-seven dollars and eighty-six cents worth of product. So that worked out to about a forty-eight percent savings. And when I started this thing, you guys, um, when I went in, I had no. I started, you know, trying to do any coupon actually by watching it stream couponing. Hate that those shows are on like that now because it seems like they're buckling down on us. They really do, you know, for the most part, try to be legitimate. Um, but that's where I got it from. And I said in the beginning, I didn't see myself, you know, saving, you know, intense, intense amounts of money the way that they were doing, you know, with the 90 some percent savings, you know, at the grocery store or whatever. But, you know, when... Even if it gets to like the 48, 50% range, I'm thinking that was a good thing. So 50% savings almost for this. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, and in the end, <laughs> it'll be money back in my pocket because <laughs> yeah, those shampoos and conditioners will get sold. <laughs> um, and if they do not, then, you know, I can always donate them and then not money back in my pocket, but that's something that does your heart and soul good too. So, you know, either way, um, there's going to be an added bonus. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, until the next video, I wish you peace and blessings.